Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out Branch Out Guitar. I'm John, and today we're going to be talking about counting. So this is just going to be a basic short class on how to count rhythms that you play in songs already. We have a few basic types of notes, and then I'm going to show you how to count those while strumming this E chord here. So the first type of note that we have is what's called a whole note. That's a much longer note. It has four beats. So if you were to play an E chord, and it was going to be a whole note, you'd play one, two, three, four, and then switch to whatever else you got after that. The next type of note would be a half note. Those are two beats a piece. So you would have one, two, and then move on to the next thing. Sometimes, a lot of times, you'll have two half notes within one measure, so you play one, two, three, four. Uh, probably the most basic strumming pattern that uh, people will start doing is, what, uh, is having four quarter notes to a measure. That's where you're strumming on every single beat. So that'd be one, two, three, and four. So you'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, continue on. From there, we'll start getting into actually strumming down and up with the eighth note. Now what the eighth note is doing is dividing the quarter note into two equal parts. So that you're actually still, you still have bigger beats that are just one, two, three, and four. Those are the quarter notes that we've got going on. Now we're kind of filling in the gap in between equally with another note, which is give, gives us two eighth notes per quarter note. So that's where we're gonna strum down, where we have the beats one, two, three, and four, we would strum down. And then on the up beats, or we say the word and, we're gonna strum up. So we'd have one and two and three and four and. And you can speed that up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then from there, we still follow the same pattern where we're dividing things into halves. So we're gonna take those eighth notes and divide them into halves. And probably this would be the last rhythm that we talk about for today. It's a 16th note. That means we're getting two 16th notes per eighth note, which then would mean we'd have four 16th notes per quarter note. So if I was gonna take that same E chord, again, the one, the two, and the three, and the four are all in the same place. And then from the quarter note, we have two eighth notes. And then from there, we're gonna have two eighth notes. And then we have two 16th notes per uh, uh, per eighth note. So if we were going to strum 16th notes, we would strum down and up, down and up, and we would actually count one E and a, uh, and then two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, so on and so on. But that's where we're still keeping the one, the two, the three, and the four lined up, regardless of whether we're just playing quarter notes or whether we're playing eighth notes or playing 16th notes or any combination in between. So the 16th notes would be like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So again, this is just a method for how to count these rhythms. There's no real particular pattern. You can combine these, uh, combine these notes and these rhythms in, any, in an infinite number of ways. And you're pretty much playing these types of rhythms in whatever songs that you're doing. And it's not particular just to this E chord. You could strum single notes, any type of chord, whatever you might like or whatever the song is calling for. So that's pretty much it for counting today. Uh, be sure to comment below and share and subscribe and to check out branchoutguitar.com for more guitar information. We'll see you next time.